Hello and welcome to a Sunday morning meetup in which I present books to read, C is for comedy. One of the greatest writers of comic novels is, of course, P.G. Woodhouse. I recommend The Code of the Worcesters. When Bertie Worcester goes to Totley Towers to pour oil on the troubled waters of a lover's breach between Madeline Bassett and Gagasi Finknottle, he isn't expecting to see Aunt Dahlia there, nor to be instructed by her to steal some silver. But purloining the antique cow creamer from under the baleful nose of Sir Watkin Bassett is the least of Bertie's tasks. He has to restore true love to both Madeline and Gussie and to the Reverend Stinker Pinker and Stiffy Pink and confound the insane ambitions of would-be dictator Roderick Spode and his black shorts. It's a situation that only Jeeves can unravel. Writing at the very height of his powers in the Code of the Worcesters, P.G. Woodhouse delivers what might be the most delightfully funny book ever committed to paper. A Comedy of Manners is a novel that satirises the manners and affectations of a social class, often represented by stock characters. The plot of the comedy is often concerned with an illicit love affair or some other scandal but it is generally less important than its witty dialogue. This form of comedy has a long ancestry, dating back at least as far as Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing. Jane Austen specialised in the comedy of manners novel with Emma, Mansfield Park and Pride and Prejudice. Other novels typifying this approach are Evelina by Fanny Burney, Excellent Women by Barbara Pym, Vanity Fair by William Mathis Thackeray, and A Handful of Dust by Evelyn Wall. Parody is a story that mocks or satirises other genres, people, fictional characters, or works. Such works employ sarcasm, stereotyping, mockery of scenes, symbols or lines from other works and the obviousness of meaning is in a character's actions. Such stories may be affectionate parodies meant to entertain those familiar with the references of the parody or they may well be intended to undercut the respectability of the original inspiration for the parody by pointing out its flaws, the latter being closer to satire. The Princess Bride by William Goldman is a notable example of a parody. Beautiful, flaxen-haired Buttercup has fallen for Wesley, the farm boy, and when he departs to make his fortune, she vows never to love another. So when she hears that his ship has been captured by the dread pirate Roberts, who never leaves survivors, her heart is broken. But her charms draw the attention of the relentless Prince Humperdinck, who wants a wife and will go to any lengths to have Buttercup. So starts a fairy tale like no other, of fencing, fighting, torture, poison, true love, hate, revenge, giants, hunters, bad men, Good men, beautiful ladies, snakes, spiders, beasts, chases, escapes, lies, truths, passion and miracles. Other examples of parodies include Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen and Pride and Prejudice and Zombies by Seth Graham Seth Smith. Romantic comedy aka rom-com is a subgenre that combines the romance genre with comedy focusing on two or more individuals as they discover and attempt to deal with their romantic love attractions to each other the stereotypical plot line follows the boy gets girl 
boy loses girl, boy gets the girl back again sequence. Naturally there are innumerable variants to this plot as well as new twists such as reversing the gender roles in the story and much of the generally light-hearted comedy lies in the social interactions and sexual tension between the characters who very often either refuse to, to admit they are attracted to one another or must deal with others meddling in their affairs. Although I know very little about this genre, I have chosen a typical modern example. I followed the rules. True Love by the Book by Joanna Balori is from the best-selling author of The List and Relight My Fire. I followed the rules is rated as an hilarious novel about how to find true love by the book. My friends think I'm insane. I'm stalking men all over town and I'm on a deadline. Most people have heard of The Rules of Engagement, the book that promises to teach women how to find the man of their dreams in 10 easy steps. Cat has decided that while a lot has changed since the 80s, it might be entertaining to follow it to the letter. But when you're looking for love, actually, actively chasing it down actually, a lot can go wrong. I'm not joking when I say this is the funniest down-to-earth and yet crazily sexy and romantic book I've read in this genre, says an Amazon reviewer. This made me laugh my head off quietly on the train, said another Amazon reviewer. This is the funniest book I have read and it is absolutely brilliant, said yet another Amazon reviewer. If this is a genre that appeals to you, you may want to check out books by this author. Comic fantasy is a sub-genre of fantasy that is primarily humorous in intent and tone. Usually set in imaginary worlds, comic fantasy often includes puns on and parodies of other works of fantasy. It is sometimes known as low fantasy in contrast to high fantasy, which is primarily serious in intent and tone. The term low fantasy is also used to represent other types of fantasy, so while comic fantasies may also correctly be classified as low fantasy, many examples of low fantasy are not comic in nature. The most famous comic fantasy novels are the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett. Black comedy or dark comedy is a parody or satirical story that is based on normally tragic or tattoo, tattoo, taboo subjects including death, murder, suicide, illicit drugs and war. Catch 22 by Joseph Heller is probably the most famous black comedy ever written and the phrase Catch 22 has passed into general use. Explosive, subversive, wild and funny Set in the closing months of World War II, this is the story of a bombardier named Yossarian who is frantic and furious because thousands of people he has never met are trying to kill him. His real problem is not the enemy, it is his own army which keeps increasing the number of missions the men must fly to complete their service. If Yossarian makes any attempts to excuse himself from the perilous missions, then he is caught in Catch-22. If he flies, he is crazy, and he doesn't have to. But if he doesn't want to, he must be sane, and has to. That's some catch. Comic science fiction is a comedy that uses science fiction elements or settings, often as a light-hearted or occasionally vicious parody of the latter genre. The most famous is the Hitchhiker's Gate to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams and of course Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut Jr. The satire is often strictly defined as a literary genre or form, though in practice it is also found in the graphic and performing arts. In satire, human or individual vices, vices, follies, abuses or shortcomings are held up to censure by means of ridicule, derision, 
burlesque, irony or other methods, ideally with the intent to bring about improvement. Satire is usually meant to be funny, but its purpose is not primarily humour as an attack on something the author <laughs> disapproves of using wit. A common, almost defined feature of satire is its strong vein of irony or sarcasm, but parody, burlesque, exaggeration, juxtaposition, comparison, analogy and double entendre are all frequently appear in satirical speech and writing. The essential point is that in, in satire, irony is militant. This militant irony or sarcasm often professes to approve or at least accept as natural the very things the satirist actually wishes to attack. Two examples of satiric novels are Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes and Animal Farm by George Orwell. And now here is a quick recap and I'll be back on Thursday with my December mid-month wrap-up.